Can you believe these beautiful nails are applied on bitten nails? Practically, I do bite my nails, that's what I want to say. Today, I will be showing you in detail how to apply Presto nails so they last you about three to four weeks. The first thing that we are going to do is to push back the cuticle with a tool that looks like this. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and take a drill bit that is soft on the nail, but is going to also give me um, that control and that roughness that I need on my nails. So the press on nails can actually stick to the nail longer. I'm also going to be roughing out wrapping up the inside of the press on nail. I wanted to make a video where I show you in detail how to prepare your natural nail for press on nails or any type of nails that you like to do um, just so you see the real process. A lot of the times we see you know TikTok videos and they're super short and you do the the procedure or whatnot or whatnot but the truth is that it takes time um, anyhow here i am using a nail file and um, i'm gonna go over um, each one of the nails just to make sure that they are rough enough I can't find my way back to you. After that, you want to make sure to use alcohol to clean up your natural nails, okay? It is very important that everything is nice and clean before we proceed to the next step. I'm lost again. I don't want to run from all of this bulletproof, nothing else. You want to make sure that you apply the dehydrator first and then the primer, okay? And what the dehydrator does is to practically to leave your nail matte and to get it ready for the primer. After that, we are ready to start gluing on our nails. And I think I told you in a previous video about this glue from LA Colors. It is practically a, it, you know, it dries up quite quick and it's only like $2. I went to the Family Dollar and that's where I found it. And I really like this glue because like I said, it dries quite quickly and you don't have to wait. Anyhow, uh, what I'm going to do is press down the, the skin uh, right under my nail and I'm going to apply the fake nail like so. You do want to make sure that you do um, keep that nail in place until it dries out. You want to make sure not to create air bubbles inside the nail and your natural nail and um, once again you want to make sure that these nails do last you as much as possible again i wanted to make a video so you see the time that it takes to to prepare the natural nail for fake nails it could be acrylic nails or these type of nails and uh, again the preparation is very similar so this video will be repetitive but that is how you should prepare your nails your natural nails okay so I'm gonna go ahead and let you watch I'm lost again I don't want to run from all of this bulletproof nothing to lose so break me if only I don't
I do like to work with one hand at a time so I get to focus on the one hand and then I will be doing the same exact thing on my second hand. If you made it all the way over here thank you for watching and um, this is how the nails will look after you have applied them correctly but to be honest with you for me they are a little bit on the longer side so I will be trimming them just a little bit and after I trim them then I'm gonna go ahead and reshape them
And this is how they look after I trim them. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Here is a quick follow-up. Uh, these are my nails after three weeks. Yes, I've been gardening and they look awful, but they're still going strong. <laughs>